Come on, Ross said as he gripped her hand and urged her up the hill. Debbie followed with reluctance. The legendary rock loomed ahead on the cliff's edge and she regarded it with fear. Why do we have to do this? she asked, wanting to pull her hand from Ross's grip. Because I want to prove to everyone that this legend isn't true. He stopped and looked back at her, a smile stretching across his thin lips. Don't worry, I'm not going to jump. Why would I want to do that for? Debbie sighed with defeat and followed him up the rest of the hill. As the rock cast its shadow over them, she recalled the legend that had made this place famous, the legend of the doomed lovers. It had happened centuries ago. The couple had fallen in love despite the differences of their class and the betrayal of their families. Determined to never be separated, the man had carried his love to this very rock and, gripping her hand, had leapt, taking them both to their watery graves. The lives of many couples had since been claimed behind this rock. People believed they were just doomed lovers who had fallen in love with the romantic myth of being together forever, but many believed a dark tale. Debbie didn't like it. As she stepped onto the ledge behind the rock, she peered down at the crashing waves hundreds of feet below. Why had she let Ross talk her into this? See? Ross said, proud to be standing on the infamous spot. Nothing's here. I told you the stories aren't true. The people in town are just superstitious fools. Movement from the rock caught her eye and she argued with herself that what she was seeing could possibly be true. The face of a woman emerged from the stone between where they stood. Her eyes and her mouth closed as if asleep, as if dead. Debbie wanted to take a step back, but fear paralysed her, and a scream lodged in her throat. With wide eyes, she had no choice but to watch as a pale hand followed from the stone and reached out. Ross remained oblivious as he peered over the edge, only becoming aware of the feel of a cold hand on his arm. As he looked around, it was then that he saw, but it was too late. The hand pushed. Ross cried out as he tottered on the edge of the cliff, his arms waving frantically in the air before gripping hold of Debbie's. Her scream broke free, but there was nothing she could do as he pulled her over the edge, to their death.